Well, welcome back to the channel, and today I'm going to be reviewing Christmas Evil. Now, Christmas Evil, this is a very interesting slasher. I guess you can call it a slasher, but more so it is a psychological horror movie. It's based around Christmas, obvious. Obviously, the title, Christmas Evil. Now, this is a very unique Christmas horror movie. It's a Christmas horror movie. It's just, it stands out. <laughs> I will say that. You know, it stands out amongst, you know, Silent Night, Deadly Night, or other, you know, ones. So, basically, you know, you open up with this, you know, this little boy named Henry. He goes downstairs to spot Santa Claus, Santa Claus, making out with his mom. Come to find out, of course, that's not Santa Claus making out. That's his dad. Um, that's his dad's making out with his mom. But he thinks it's Santa Claus, be it the point. He goes up and at it, cuts, like, cuts right here. Um, and then it fast forward a few years later. We see Henry, and he's clearly not stable. As you would have guessed, obviously that traumatized him, but not only did that traumatize the guy, that made him go crazy, but on, but as well it made him obsessed with Santa Claus. Like, this guy wakes up in Santa Claus pajamas. Like, he has, like, a whole wall dedicated to Santa Claus. Like, he makes his curse, like, he makes his Santa Claus suit and everything. This dude is beyond assessed with Santa Claus. But let me tell you some of the stuff that this guy does, okay? When it's Santa Claus time, <laughs> when it's like Santa Claus time, I guess you could say, he um, goes to the toy factory because um, Hen Henry works at the toy factory. So he goes to the toy factory that he works at, robs the toy factory mid mid a Christmas party. There's a Christmas party going on, but he don't care, it's Henry, right? He, he's, he's assessed with Santa Claus. He steals all the toys, puts them like in this big pillowcase, breaks into people's houses that gives them the gifts. But not only that, no, 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 not only that, he goes to this one couple's house, tries to slide down the chimney to give the kids the gifts and murder their parents. So he can't go down the chimney, so he just slides on through a window. Then this dude, yes, this is real stuff, <laughs> this is real stuff that happens in this film. Then... He has like this white van and like painted on the sides like a sleigh. Not only that, you'd think there's not really going to be a body count in this. Oh, there's a body count. There's nothing. I wouldn't say a big body count, but there's a body count on this. There's a body count. <laughs> so there's like this group of people that walk out of church, you know, like it's Christmas Eve. They're walking out of the church. Everything seems hunky-dory, right? So like, the, no, 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 no. Here's Henry, of course, dressed as... Santa Claus, because he's obsessed with Santa Claus, he murders half of these church people. Like, he murders half of these church people, okay? He murders them with, like, this, like, candy cane axe. Like, he poked this one guy with, like, like, he poked this one guy's eye out with a nutcracker. Like, he was, like, chopping people's heads. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, it really made my jaw drop, because... I was not expecting to go into slasher territory because, like, when you see the opening of the film, you see, like, Henry, like, seeing Santa Claus making out with his mom. You see him obsessed with Santa Claus working at this toy factory. You think, okay, it's just a, a crazy guy that's obsessed with Santa Claus. No, we go into slasher territory. And this movie, it's fun, it's entertaining, it's wild. Um... If this is just a fun, wild, entertaining, horror Christmas movie, dude, I would say it's a must-check out. You know, I do think Silent Night, Deadly Night's better. I think the remake's better. I think Better Watch Out. I can name, oh, I think Krampus. I can name a good amount of um, Christmas horror movies that's better than this. But Christmas Evil really stands on its own. You know, you got somewhat of a killer Santa Claus. And, I mean, this movie is just wild. Like I said, like, you got a guy that's obsessed with Santa Claus. You got, you know, like I said, a guy that's obsessed with Santa Claus. You got a guy that's obsessed with Santa Claus. You got, you know, 
this is the same guy, you know, did try to slide down a chimney. Clearly, he got stuck, so he did slide through the window. He killed some church people. <laughs> he killed some church people. He tried to ran over people in his van. It looks like a sleigh. <laughs> Man, this movie is just wild and it's just bonkers, but it's just so much fun and entertaining. And then you got like, like almost like the whole town running after him, like pitchforks yelling, "Oh, we're gonna get you!" <laughs> Bro, I don't know what this movie is. This is my first time watching it. I may watch it again before you know this um this season of Christmas ends because this movie, is, like I said, it's, it's so out there. It's it's just it's so out there. It's just entertaining. Like it's just you you go and watch this for entertainment value, because like 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 I said, this was my first time watching this. I really did not know where it was going to go. I didn't know if it was going to go in slasher. Oh, it went in slasher territory, and I think it went beyond slasher territories. There were scenes. I think there was some comedy moments again. There were some moments where I was just completely, utterly laughing. Because this guy, again, the most funny moment in this whole movie is when this dude thinks he's going to, um, Henry, when he thinks he's going to slide down the chimney. He does not slide down the chimney. Obviously, he's going to get stuck. Duh. But Christmas Evil, I give this film an 8 out of 8. I would give it a 7, but I give it an 8 out of 8. Mainly for in, mainly for entertainment purposes, it gets a full eight out of eight for entertainment purposes. This is again a fun, entertaining Christmas horror movie. The it is a must watch. <laughs> you know, if you if you are like me and you like Christmas horror movies, then this is gonna be right up your alley. It's just wild. It's entertaining. You you know don't really get a christmas vibe to it till like towards like the end of the movie because like part of it like takes place like like before you know christmas eve and christmas day like part of it takes place during thanksgiving which is odd but like part of it takes place during thanksgiving and you really don't get that christmas feel probably towards the end of the film which is interesting because it's christmas evil not Thanksgiving evil, but like I said, like part of it does take place in you know Thanksgiving. But nonetheless, this is a fun, entertaining Christmas horror movie that is a must check out. Now, don't think you're going to, but just don't go in this movie with high expectations, because like even some of the kills are like, mm, like, but regardless, this is just a fun, entertaining horror movie that is a must check out. So I want to say. If you want to check it out, yes, check this movie out immediately. It's very entertaining and very fun. So if you enjoyed the review of Christmas Evil, why not smack that like button? Why not subscribe if you're a first time viewer? Why not hit that notification bell? I can't believe it's December 1st already. Um, it's about, and talk day is about time to be Christmas and about time for a whole new year. So if you guys enjoyed the video, like I said, smack that like button and let me know in the comments below, have you seen Christmas Evil? If you have seen this movie, what do you think of this movie? Let me know in the comments below. I'm out of here until next time.